What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Warzone Ramblings and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the boys that I play with Team RPG although that is not officially our name, that's just something we adopted for one gaming session It's just me and Domi for today, uh, Dogger and Shane couldn't make this recording session but I can finally say that I've finally sorted out my thumb drive I now know how to make it work when I'm recording and for anyone else as well, if anyone plays this on Xbox One uh, you'll notice now just by my footage my lag has completely gone it's something has changed since the update for season five which is just so much better to get out of the way but you're going to witness just in a second here i'm very reserved when it comes to using my smg because i've passed three or four weeks of trying to adjust of playing with severe lag and you'll see in about a second now um, when i get back into the building i take the guy on again and I was so frightened just to move that, yeah, because that's what the past three or four weeks has been like for me. But the lag has gone, enough of that, and it's time to come back and kick some ass. And this is with Domi, as you can see. Uh, Domi, I actually have the most amount of duo wins with. Uh, my first ever duo win was with Dogger. We were the first two to actually get a duo win. And I have a couple with Shane. You can see that. I'm just letting some out with some anger on the bodies because I was pissed off. But yeah, yeah. Um, my hubris in that situation means I get a sniper shot to the head and even though Adam did squad wipe the other team he had to bail me out here as the other guy tried to push and Adam gets his third kill of the game already so yeah I've had a couple of duo wins with everyone and uh, most with Adam first with Mikey and uh, a few here and there with Shane and we've had a lot of trio wins in terms of if one one of us is missing I've had a trio win with every kind of formation that there could be and I think the guys have won a trio without me. But giving you a brief overview of my Battle Royale history, I've only ever won one singles on uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 uh, map, what was that called? That was called Blackout. I did get one solo win on that, I only got one kill and yes it was a winning kill. Capped like a bitch all the way throughout and then... Um, Later on in sort of, it must have been mid-2021, me, Dogger and Adam started playing Warzone and in the Verdansk map it was, there was only one duo win in Battle Royale which was me and Adam, again one kill between us, it was a winning kill but we were very new to the game or at least Domi was. Domi has come on leaps and bounds since then, he's a lot more confident particularly since we picked up our fourth member which I'll talk about in a second. But after that, we only had one trio win, and that was on the Caldera map in the Godzilla King Kong mode, um, also known as Operation Monarch. Me, Mikey, and Adam got a trio win in that. Didn't get a bunch of win for ages, and then we actually switched back to playing FIFA, which is probably going to be the biggest waste of 60 quid in our lives. And once we got annoyed with that game, I mentioned to them that there's a mode on Warzone called Resurgence where there's a lot more respawning, so you get a lot more playing time. So we tried it out. And a couple of nights into our first ever time playing, we got our first ever trio win on Ashika, which is also the night we sort of established how we play as a trio. I did a bit of a gas play and Mikey and Adam went for the winning kill as the kind of two brutes or the two aggressors of the team. And that's the way it sort of continued a little bit forward, particularly with me and my playing style. I'm not the best at close quarter combat, but I do have a lot more sort of tactical awareness. And when we hit the notes right as a free that's what helps us win more matches because not long after our first win on the Sheikah, we then went on to get three nights, uh, three wins in one night. A Sheikah and Vondal, uh, Mikey's first ever clutch was that night. And then not long after that, we got Shane. And since then, because Shane is massively aggressive, it's so different to, to our other usual style that we've now just started getting more wins on the board but we've slacked off a little bit recently because I was lagging and we sort of backed away from our own gameplay like we've all tried to be Shanes of the group and not all of us are particularly me I'm shit at it so when I try to be aggressive it is actually detrimental to the team but you can see we're coming to the end of this game now I've got no kills Adam's got three and we think that all the other team members are away we walk through this door and it's a fucking bloodbath I know Adam gets down there, but I do have a gas mask, so and I see he's got self revive. So my thought is, just get your arm on and get out of there. I can see that there's four teams left, and we push out here. And I see Adam getting shot from this building on my right from a window. So I run round to the side, and I'm literally playing against the gas. I'm trying to get to the room of the building that is safe, and I just make it, knowing that the guy was there. I've got the surprise on him. Give him a down. And there is now officially one against one against one. And this is normally where I choke. But you can see now I've 
got a little bit more confident, particularly as I was running there. I'm fully varmed up. I've reloaded. And I did see, that you can see when I go back to this window over here, I did see there was a sniper on top, but he didn't see me. And that told me that he was looking for someone below him, which meant I knew where the last two players were. And I would normally just let them fight each other. But I got some balls and I actually thought, you know, I'm going to take them both on. So I took him out. I knew the other guy was in the building. He'd have to run out. And holding those shots there with an SMG at that range whilst being shot is something I'm normally terrible at. The guys will tell you the second I get shot, I normally start running. But I held my own there. I managed to reload, get some armor on. I knew that he had just revived and he had been in the gas. So, yeah, it went my way. And because I stepped up, instead of waiting for those two to have the fight and I take on the winner, just taking them both out of the game, I helped myself get there, get the win. Adam even said that's probably the most aggressive he's seen me play because in that situation, I do normally back away and try and let everyone weaken themselves. But I thought, you know what, fuck this, I've got the advantage. I know a lot of you Warzone players out there are massive, like way better than the footage you've just seen here. But it's been our journey so far and I'll have a part two about this, um, speaking more about what's happened since we've got Shane on board. But if you play this game and you'd like to see us do any challenges or what could help me improve, please let me know in the comments. If you're new here, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a cheeky like. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. And yeah, this has been me. So as always, folks, much love. Take care. I've actually been talking all the way through this. My voice is hurting. <laughs> Be good, guys. Much love.